How's it going everybody? Dr. Coin back at it again and welcome to the Coin Cave. Today we have $500 quarter hunt for you guys. I went to the bank, picked up this full box of quarters. So this all came from one bank and actually pretty interesting. I took a look inside um, that roll right there. I can't really look at it, but I took a look inside and a lot of these rolls had diadem enders. And when I opened some of them up, I was really curious. A lot of them have 1968s inside and they all look to be nickel 1968s from what I've seen so far. I opened like two or three rolls up. I'll see if I can maybe open this roll up and take a quick look for you guys. See what I am talking about. I think I did maybe see like one 1975, but there is a few rolls in here that do not look like they are hunted. You can see right there, that is a diadem. And what is the year? This is a 19. 68 right here. So these are nickel 1968. I really hope this whole box is not full of a Collection dump of 1968 nickel quarters. It'd be nice if maybe there's some 1970s or maybe even some silver 1968s in here I don't know, but there's still lots of rolls. I haven't checked it definitely is a collection dump of some sort I don't know if maybe another coin roll hunter is maybe just dumping all of the 1968s He's been accumulating, but we do have some clear rolls that are definitely not hunted. These are modern quarters on the end of these clear rolls right here. So hopefully we do have a little bit to hunt here. I'm gonna check these ones for 1970s and see if maybe there's any silver 1968s, but this is definitely gonna be an interesting hunt. Um, let's see if I can find a few more diadem enders to show you guys. There we go right there. I think all this row on the top here is all diadem enders. So a little disappointing, but what do you expect when you uh, coin roll hunt every once in a while you're gonna get these collection dumps there's not much you can do to avoid it but I'm still gonna look through I'm still gonna hope for the best lots of stuff to look for maybe there'll be a 1991 2001 no P maybe there'll be some good colored ones in here you never know right but before I can start tearing into this box and these rolls I would really appreciate if you guys would hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more coin roll hunting coin collecting videos just like this then without further ado, I'm going to start tearing into this box, tearing into these rolls, and see if there's any goodies inside. So, let this hunt begin. Alright, so I am about three rolls down. The first two rolls were 1968s, just like I thought. And there were a few in good condition, but nothing really worth keeping. But there are a few quarters right here in this roll that are not 1968s and they're really nice. Like this is a 1969 right here. And this is a bit of a stunner. It's got some tarnishing there. So I might not hold on to this one, but look at this one as well. This is a, uh, a 1980 quarter. And this one I think I will hold on to because this is like practically MS right there. But this is actually not what I'm tuning you in for guys because it looks like we might have ourselves a hunt because I just found the first 1970 of this hunt. This is a key date right here. I think this is minted around 10 million. So it is definitely one of the good key dates for quarters. And it also means that these rolls have not been completely sifted through. So there may be a few silvers lying in here. There may be a key dates. Maybe today will finally be the day that I will score that 1991 that I've been looking for for so long coin roll hunting. But we have a nice 1970. We have a very nice uncirculated 1980 right there 1988 i think that is hard to see the date 1981 maybe but this might uh, even be a proof or a specimen by the looks of it it's very very nice we also have an rcmp right here which i will check for the large bust and most likely it is not large bust but i'll still hold on to this as well throw it up there on the board keep going along and i'll tune you guys in if i find anything else all right i'm about five rolls in now and it looks like we definitely have ourselves a hunt here guys because we just found ourselves our first decent colored find this is the 2017 hope for a green future quarter super low mintage super rare so this is a good sign that maybe these rolls have not been searched or not been hunted or maybe this is some kind of collection dump maybe someone was turning their relatives coins in maybe someone just got sick of collecting who knows but a lot of uh, modern coins in some of these rolls and the other rolls are all 1968s and 1969s. I did find one 1968 that is an absolute stunner. It is actually nickel, and you don't find them in this good shape too often. Usually, uh, when you find them like this, they will be silver, but this one is actually in really good shape. Sometimes the nickel MS coins can actually be worth more than the silver ones. I believe uh, 
nickel MS 65 quarter is worth somewhere around 40 to 50 dollars so this is actually a pretty good find you can see this definitely has a cameo on it at least a regular cameo maybe a heavy cameo who knows but a really good find we got some nice looking 68 that nice looking 80 over there i'm gonna keep going see if maybe we can find some more goodies in here okay guys i am one roll down and i'm starting to get really excited here i just found a new foundland and i actually found one more 1970 and uh that's not actually why I'm so excited here, guys. I want you to take a look at this 1972. Look at this thing right here. This has got to be a specimen from that strike right there. And oh my lordy, look at the back of this thing. It has some crazy cool toning going on on the back. I'm definitely going to say this came out of one of those uh, leather bound specimen sets. It looks like it probably toned on the uh, obverse there by sitting in the case for a while i have a few specimen sets like that and usually that's how they get that toning on the obverse is from sitting bust face down in the case but that is such a pronounced strike on the caribou there i'm gonna have to say this is definitely a specimen strike or a proof strike of some sort if you guys have any opinions or theories let me know but i'm gonna say in my heart of hearts from the uh from the mere like finish and the frostiness on there man that is incredible what a beautiful quarter. This has got to be some sort of collection dump from all of the good stuff we found. I keep checking all of the 68s and everything with magnets just to make sure, but they all seem to be nickel from what I found so far. But man, finding stuff like this, I will not complain. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to throw it up on the board, keep going along, tune you guys back in if I find anything else good. But man, what a stunner. All right. I'm about 10 rolls in now, and I'm finding a lot more of the same 1968 to, uh, let's say, 1985. Some of them are in really good shape. Uh, I found a few more provincials there. I've been finding a lot of 1973 RCMPs. But, guys, I wanted to show you this right here. Look at this quarter. Oh, my Lord. I do not want to touch it too much, but... Uh, it's not as nice on that side, unfortunately, but this looks like a 1982. I'd say this is another specimen or another proof strike. Um, the rim on this seems a little thicker, too, honestly. This is a weird kind of quarter, but, man, I have never seen a quarter coin roll hunting so shiny as that. That obverse is flawless. This had to have come out of a set or a roll recently. Um, man, this is one of the nicest quarters I have ever found. That is absolutely beautiful. I do think they had frosted proof sets at this point. So this may actually be a uh, either a specimen or just a regular proof 25 cent. But man, this is absolutely amazing. This hunt is going really well. I'm really excited for what's ahead right now. I'm going to keep going and tune you guys back in if I find anything else. But man, this thing is beautiful. Just a few coins down in that same roll. And guys, this has got to be some kind of crazy collection dump. Look at this 1981 right here. Oh my lord. This is as uh, as flawless as it comes. I do not want to touch it with my finger and get my fingerprints all over it. But man, this is a absolutely flawless coin right here. This is so beautiful. I have not found anything like this coin roll hunting before. Man. I'm almost speechless. Look at the cameo on that. This has to be specimen. This has to be proof. I'm not too sure. If you guys have any theories, let me know down in the comments. But man, um, this hunt is crazy so far, guys. And I still have lots of rolls to go. I am super excited. Oh, my God. There might even be one more like this in this roll. But this is a crazy kind of collection dump I'm finding. I'm going to keep going. Tune you guys back in. Alrighty guys, I'm getting towards the halfway mark now and man am I getting sick of looking at 1968 quarters until now guys because I just found this 1968 right here and it was actually the ender on the roll and as soon as I saw this one I could tell from the tone on it and when I hit it with the magnet that we had our first silver of this hunt. Oh yeah, we have silver. We found silver in our last hunt, a George the Sixth silver quarter so the silver streak is still on and actually guys i wanted to show you because in that last roll i actually found two more of these we have a 1980 a 1981 and i think a 1982 so i don't know if these are all out of uncirculated rolls 
or if they are out of specimen sets, but they're some of the nicest 1980 quarters I've ever seen. I'm gonna say they're either proof or specimen, but man, are these things beautiful. Here's the other one right here. Oh, I just touched it with my finger, whoopsies. Hopefully that didn't get too much mark on it right there, but I'm probably gonna put these in flips to show you at the end of this video. But man, this hunt is awesome so far. We have silver, we found proofs, we found what I think is a specimen, that 1972 right there. Look at that cameo on that bad boy. Man, what a hunt, guys. And we got ourselves a silver 50 percenter. Not bad. Let's keep this hunt going and see if we can find some more cherries to add on top to this beauty hunt we are having so far. I am getting towards the end of this hunt. I only have one more roll of what I would call those collection dump rolls. Now the dates in these rolls are mostly 1968. I would say this box is at least 50% to 75% 1968. And then most of the other coins in these rolls are 1970s, 80s, a few 90s. Some of them are in really good shape. I'll show you at the end of this hunt some of the 68s and some of the other keepers. I did find a few more of those specimen coins from the 80s. I'll show you those at the end of the hunt, the lineup of all of the different years that I got. But I'm excited to get into that last roll. But that's actually not what I'm tuning you guys in for. I'm tuning you guys in because we have ourselves another great colored find here, guys. We have ourselves the 2009 men's hockey. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to fire up my scope here. I'm going to grab this bad boy, and we're going to check for the raise two variation. If this is the raise two, then it is worth a little bit more. So let's throw it under the scope. All right. Unfortunately, that is going to be the NQs two, but that is all right. This is still a key date minted at three million. This hunt is going super splendidly. I got all sorts of amazing goodies to show you guys at the end. I'm going to keep going through these rolls. I got a few clear rolls that I saved for the very end because I hate those clear rolls so so much but i'm going to finish this roll off finish this hunt off and tune you guys back in only three rolls left to go i just opened up this clear roll right here and it looks like we have an interesting inner right there that's either silver or it's a fire or foreign coin let's pull it out and take a little look see here Ooh, this is a foreign coin here what is this new pence five what is the date on this please be Hold up, it's a diadem, 1970. And from the looks of it, it looks like it's gonna be nickel. It doesn't really look like silver to me. It looks a little too wishy-washy to be silver, but still a nice old, uh, nice old foreign coin. I'm not sure if this is from England or Britain or whereabouts this would have been from, but I think this is when they had their uh, decimal change in coinage is right around 1970. So haven't seen one of these before. Pretty cool little coin. Throw it up on the board, finish this hunt off. Alrighty, I have concluded this hunt. Before I start wrapping up all of these awesome finds, I would really appreciate if you guys would hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you have not and you would like to see more awesome coin roll hunting videos just like this. And then what do you say I show you some of the goodies we managed to accumulate today. So to start things off, we're going to have our foreign find of this hunt, which is that 1970 new pence. The denomination is five. I don't know if that's five pence or five pennies or five farthings or exactly what denomination that is but if it was a little older we might have found some silver but i won't complain now i mentioned that a large percentage of this box was 1968 so i would say 50 to 75 percent so definitely a collection dump of some sort now i had a lot of 1968s to choose from for some nice keepers and these ones are pretty much uncirculated and they definitely have at least a basic cameo designation on them i would say and man are these 68s beautiful? These are nickel 1968s. They are not silver. Made sure to hit them with the magnet. And apparently these nickel 1968s in high um, grade condition can be worth a little bit more than the silver ones actually, even though they don't have any silver value. I mean, I would have loved to have found a full roll of silver 1968s, but not that lucky today, unfortunately. Um, we found a few more nice looking um, uncirculated coins. We got a 1974 and we got a 2001 p now the 2001 p quarters are not as rare as the 2001 no p but this one is in such good shape that i figured hey why not hold on to it um as far as uncirculated canadian quarters go it seems like it's a lot more common to find 1972 to 1978 quarters that will be in really good condition like this one right here you can see the queen's bust is in really good shape on that one right there as far as the colored finds go in this hunt, usually these would be the finds of the hunt, but we found ourselves a 2017 150 years, 
and we found ourselves a 2009 men's hockey. Made sure to check this bad boy under the scope for the Rays too, and it came up a nothing nada, unfortunately, but still two really great finds right there. And guys, look at all of the 1970s that we scored today. I am counting six in total, so this just validates the fact that this has got to be a collection dump of some sort. Now, I was doubtful in the very beginning of this hunt that there might be anything good in here, but man, did we ever find lots of good stuff. So we got six 1970s. That is incredible. They're all a little beat up, but I will still take them. They're one of the main key dates for modern Canadian quarters post-1970. And guys, we managed to get ourselves a silver in this hunt as well. Now, I don't know if this one was left out from the rest of this collection dump or if this is just a standalone silver quarter that was in one of those other loose rolls because I did find this in a newer roll. It was not one of the 1968 uh, collection dump rolls. So, not too sure. I think this is definitely a 68 from what I can see there, but nice little 50% quarter. I will take a little bit of silver in this hunt and keep the streak going. And usually I'd be happy with this. Usually this would be the find of the hunt. But guys, look at this epic run of specimen quarters that we scored today. Now these are almost guaranteed. I can guarantee you they are almost all specimen quarters. I'm going to flip them over and show you some of the busts of these. They are so reflective and so shiny that it's probably a little bit hard to see. But man, these things are beautiful. Take a look at that right there. Take a look at that finish. I'm going to show you this uncirculated finish right beside it. Now you can see there is a clear difference between the two. This one is a lot more pronounced. It is a lot more mirror-like. So I'm going to say that these are all definitely specimens from these years. I don't know why someone would have tossed all of these consecutive years of specimen strikes into rolls like this, but I will take them. I will appreciate them. I will love them. It is a nice little treat for me to find, especially when I wasn't holding out too much hope for this hunt. Now it looks like we got 1972. Now this is the first proof that I found, and this one looks a little bit different. It looks a little bit more frosted. I don't know if that's maybe just a super heavy cameo business strike. If you guys have any theories or opinions, let me know down in the comments, but we got a 72, 75, a 76, 77, a 79. I think the 79 is probably in the best shape of all of them, to be honest. We got a 80, an 81. Now, 81, I believe, is a key date as far as quarters. Um, some of these 80s can actually be pretty low mintage, so 81 is definitely a good one. If most of these score in the high, uh, high SP range, then they can be worth anywhere from $5 to $10 each. So two 81s right there. This one looks in a little bit better condition. We got 182, and we got 184. Man, with this, man, was this an epic hunt for the ages? I did not expect this, guys. These coins are absolutely epic. You can see right there once again the difference between the strike on both of these coins, leading me to believe that these are something pretty darn special. Man, this was an epic hunt. I did not expect to score this plethora of goodies that we got today, especially a collection dump like this. I thought it was mainly going to be all 1968 and I was going to be one sad coin roll hunter, but we are going home happy today. If you guys want to let me know what your favorite find was down in the comments, I would appreciate it so much. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, everybody, peace out and have a good one, y'all.